This is week two of my Hamas series, and I will also be including a what sold from last week's Hamas. Hello guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Erlia, otherwise known as Marty Chick, and welcome to Hamas. This is a little December series. I thought about starting showing you guys what I've been picking up recently, but in this past week, I also did decide to show you what some things that were in last week's haul sold for. This is just kind of accumulation of things that I really liked this week that I picked up. This does not include absolutely everything that I picked up, but just some of my favorites. If you guys are new here, I am a full-time clothing reseller on Poshmark and eBay, and I also have this channel where I talk to you guys about reselling, thrifting, entrepreneurship, and everything in between. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below and also click the bell right next to it to be notified every time I come out with a new video. Lately, some of my videos have been off schedule, so just to make you aware of that. But I do post weekly and bi-weekly. If you guys like this type of video, don't forget to leave me a little thumbs up down below. It really helps the growth of this channel when you give my videos a like, and it just means the world to me in general. So let's get into it. So what sold last week? The first sale I want to talk to you guys about here are these brown bloodstone boots that I got from the Nordstrom Rack Black Friday sale. I ended up paying $39 for these and they sold for $100, which means that I made a profit of $41 on these boots. These were actually on an offer. I did have these listed quite a bit higher than this, but when someone offered me this and it was a $40 profit, I did decide to take it because they'd only been listed for two days. So I thought that this was an excellent sale. The next one were these red festive holiday Doc Martens high top boots. These were so fun and funky and I was really hoping that I could get these sold before Christmas. I paid $30 for these and they ended up selling for $90 on another offer. So I made $42 on these. I shipped these out as soon as possible because I really wanted them to get there before Christmas. So hopefully they love them. The next sale here were these a Goldie Pinch high rise jeans. These were actually really popular. I was very shocked. I listed these for one day and they already had a ton of attention and I ended up getting an offer for them. I paid $12 for these and they ended up selling it for $70. This is not the case for all a Goldie jeans. Some of the skinny styles do sit for me a little bit, but I ended up making $44 on this sale. And the final item that sold from last week's haul yet were these strap Doc Martens sandals. So I paid $18 for these and they sold for $86, which means that I made $48.34 after fees because this was an offer to Liker. I was actually shocked that these sandals sold that fast and for this high of an amount because I was intending to wait on them until the spring, but when they accepted my offer, I was so excited because I knew I just listed these. So those are all of the items that sold from last week's haul. So let's jump into this past week. So I'm gonna to be totally transparent with you guys and just say that I did not do a ton of sourcing this past week, but I still did end up finding a lot of great items. They're currently sitting here in just a massive heap and they are totally out of order of when I got them, where I got them. So I'll try to explain a little bit about that when I display the item, but if I forget, just leave me a little comment down below. And also don't forget to leave me a little comment down below with your best finds of this past week because I love seeing what you guys find as well so let's jump into it I guess we'll start with what's in this bag from yesterday. I did a little bit of buy, sell, trade store shopping yesterday, but I was not finding a lot. I'm not sure if it was just because it was the end of the week and people haven't donated as much, but I did end up finding this gorgeous Burton Snow coat. So this is what it looks like. It's just this color blocked detail. And this one was in really good condition except for a few marks on the back here. So I can just use some stain remover on those and those should come out pretty easily. But Burton coats are really in high demand right now for ski and snowboard season and I just love the colors on this one. This one is a women's dry ride size medium so that's what the label looks like if you have never found Burton before. Burton's just a really high-end brand and if you are to buy this retail these are so so expensive so I was excited about this one. The store had this coat marked at $35 but I also had a $10 off coupon which made this coat $25 and I 
have sold these in the past for around $100, so I was super stoked to find this item. The second piece that I want to show you guys is actually a bolo brand I had never found before, and it is Jen's Pirate Booty. I would heard a lot of resellers talking about this brand, but I just never found it before. I found these pants. They were $26, but they are just these cotton knit pants, which kind of have like a bubble detail and a lace ankle down at the bottom. These I thought were so fun and gorgeous, bohemian, and a lot of the items in my closet do follow this bohemian style. I don't know if these are just a one size, but they didn't say the size on them. I would just say that these are a size small or look at the measurements for them. I might have overpaid for these, but you guys can let me know what you think down in the comments or what you think these could sell for. The next item here, some of you might not be familiar with, but I am, and I was so excited to find this. This is a llama wool sweater from Cotopaxi, and it still has the tags on it. I was so excited to find this because it's in pristine condition. These are so expensive, let me tell you. I think the last time they were sold on their website, they are listed at a lower price, but right now they are all sold out. I believe this exact sweater sold for $130 to $140 retail before. This is a Libra sweater, L-I-B-R-E sweater, and it says it's a unisex size small. Llama wool is definitely a higher end fabric that you guys want to be on the lookout for, and if you've never seen seen the Cotopaxi label before. That is what it looks like. They actually sell this at REI, which is why I knew what it was. So yes, I did pay up for this a little bit. I paid $20. So I'm excited to see if this sells before the Christmas holiday. I might have to discount it a little bit to see if someone would want it as a gift. The next thing I want to show you guys is actually a set I picked up. I think I paid $18 for this and it's a daily practice set from Anthropology. Again, this is a new brand to me, but I was really excited about picking it up because I'd never found one of these before. So this is just a knit set from them. This one has a little bit of a v-neck and then these are the matching shorts. I love loungewear sets like this. I think the colors on this are so fun. This one is a size medium for both top and bottom. So I really need to get this one listed because I definitely think for a Christmas gift that these could go as well. I was seeing that normally they were reselling for around the $100 mark, which is why I did pay up a little bit for them as well. The next item here, I wasn't sure if I should pick up or not, and I might have made a mistake. You guys can let me know, but the brand is called Four Days, and it's just these basic pair of cream trousers from them. Still having the tags attached here. These are a size large. I only paid $12 for these, and at first I was a little bit hesitant. So that is what the tag looks like on the inside. It looked very unique to me personally, so I did pick these up. I looked at these online and it looks like they only go for about 50 to 60, so I might have made a mistake. But if these pants are sold out at all, I definitely think that I can get my monies back for them and a little bit more. These are an organic piece, so I think that they should sell a little bit faster than some other brands I might have picked up. The next thing that I picked up here are these pair of sneakers. If you guys use Terapeak at all, you might be noticing that sneakers are starting to be trending again, and that is because the New Year's coming up. People want sneakers, hiking boots, things like that for their New Year's resolutions, and just to have those things in general for gifts as well. So these were a pair of Ultra sneakers. If you've never heard of Ultra before, they are also sold at REI, and these just have a wider footbed to them. I have a pair myself, and I I love them. I had tried Brooks and Hoga's for running and walking and none were as comfortable as Ultra's. So I just think that Ultra hasn't gotten the hype that they deserve yet, but definitely these are going to be worth it. These are the Solstice sneakers and I saw that they retailed for $130. I paid $20 for these and they are white, so they have a little bit of wear on the front, but I can easily get that out with stain remover. These are pretty much in perfect condition. They had some light wear, but literally nothing else. So I'm I'm excited to see if these go. I need to get them listed before this Christmas holiday. Up next, an item that I definitely overpaid for, but I love selling Spanx and the Spanx faux leather leggings, but I hadn't seen a design like this before, so I did end up picking them up. The store that I went to for these pair does usually mark up Spanx to like $40. These were $25, and you guys can let me know if I overpaid for them. So they're just the regular style, but then they have this moto detailing all the way down. I was very intrigued by this, and I do think that these could be a really popular style, so I did pick them up hoping that these would sell for around $70. 
The next item here might have been a mistake. You guys know I'm really selective on the free people items that I like to pick up because I'm either going to pay a really cheap price for it or it's going to be one of their collaborations or brands that they sell online or also in stores. It's not a free people branded item, but a more high end item. And this one is actually the free people movement line. And I just loved the style of these. So these are tropical print pants from them with these little drawstrings in the front here if you guys can see that I paid $16 for these but I loved the style and they're also like this baggy balloon oversized pant these are size medium which is a great size and again I really just loved the print of these and I could definitely see someone having these for vacations Although I'm trying to limit the amount of things that I'm picking up for people's vacations, I just know that throughout the winter, spring, and then summer is finally going to get here and I'm going to be sold out of all of these. So I thought that those were going to be a great pick. Going along with that oversized pant trend are these Lululemon trousers. I was really excited to pick these up and then I found out that they did have a small hole on the band in the back so I am going to have to discount them. I had never seen pants like this from Lululemon and they have little cuffed sleeves down at the bottom ankle and then the back just looks like that. So they're really flowy, definitely athleisure pants. You could wear these going out for a casual little lunch date or something. So I was really, really excited about these and they still have the pull tag and this is actually the sparkly pull tag. I don't think my camera is going to pick it up so I'm not going to show you guys, but some of their newer items have a sparkly hang tag. I'm not sure if this is something that's going to go away or if this is just something that is trying to deter people from making fakes. These were $20 and if these didn't have a hole in the back, I probably could have gotten more for them, but I was hoping originally to sell these around $80 because I've sold the dance studio pants for around that 60 to 70 mark. And I thought that these were a little bit different and I'd never seen something like these before. If you guys know the style of these, let me know down below because I'm going to spend some time searching up the style for these. The next items that I got were actually not from the Bicel Trade Store, but I have a pro tip for you guys. Go back to your local Nordstrom Rack stores because people are starting to return things that they've gotten for the holiday season that they no longer want anymore or have been worn and returned or something was wrong with them and returned and Nordstrom does fix those items. So that was the case with these boots I'm going to show you guys. This is my first time finding this Bolo brand and I was super excited about it. I only paid $39 for these and these are a pair of Zadig and Voltaire black leather boots. I forget the exact style name of these but I do have them currently listed. They also have skull and feather detailing on the back with these little wings on the bottom and these are all silver. I was so excited to find these for this price. These are still currently listed on their website for literally hundreds of dollars. And I paid $39. So these were insane. If you want a good deal on these, go over to my Poshmark closet or my eBay and snag them for yourself. These say that they are a size 36. And although these were worn, literally you cannot tell at all. There might be a slight creasing on the tops of these boots, but I really think that it just adds to their character. So I'm really, really excited about these and making sure that they go to a great buyer. The next item I picked up, I recently just listed and it is this gorgeous pastel kind of like cotton candy knit sweater from Anthropology. This still has the tags on it and it was originally $148. It's a size extra small, but this even fits me so I know that it's oversized. I just really loved the colors on this and it was in pristine condition. I got this for $20 at a local buy sell trade store. And although I thought $20 is a bit steep for this, looking at comps, this actually looked pretty good. So I was very excited to snag this and get it listed. And before I show you guys the final item of week two of Hallmas, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and let's show you guys what it was. So I actually got this jacket off of my local buy sell trade stores website. I ended up snagging this I am Gia jacket for $22 with shipping included, just a bright red color. I saw that these were selling it for $50 to $70 and I thought they were a bit different than the regular brown ones that you usually see for resale. 
and this one was literally in great condition so I was really excited about ordering it and the fact the shipping was already included but that is everything that I want to show you guys for week two of haul miss if you guys like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below for the YouTube algorithm and helping support my channel subscribe turn on your notifications you know the drill and I will see you guys in my next videos bye